Yo guys and welcome to yet another video on my channel. Today I'm finally hopping into another Call of Duty Cold War video and this time finally on multiplayer. Now I've been sweating zombies quite a bit recently and I've actually got the Black Ops 2 bug where basically in my mind I want to get all of the camos possible. So I've moved over to multiplayer and I'm going for the multiplayer challenges. I don't know what it is about the multiplayer also but it's really addictive to play. I don't know if it's because I'm on the camo grind or I'm just really loving the game. I'm not quite sure yet. Maybe we'll find out once I've done all the camos, if it's just the camo grind. But I will get all the camos done eventually. But now, as you can tell with the title of the video today, we're going to be talking about how to get gold SMGs fast in Call of Duty Cold War. But before we get into that, if you do enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like and a sub down below. It'll help me out so much when growing this channel and creating content for you guys, because I know you enjoy it. But now, before we move on to the multiplayer challenges, I'm going to have one main tip. I highly recommend before even hopping into multiplayer and getting the challenges done, is use the gun a few times in zombies. Because when it comes to getting gold in this game, the hardest thing to do is literally just leveling out the gun. So going through zombies and just taking out of hordes of zombies with the gun levels it up so fast and can also get you into later challenges that you might actually do accidentally in multiplayer instead of actually trying to get them done. And obviously you can get multiple challenges done at once, whereas if you start off with just the lower end challenges, you're going to have to do kills, then you're going to have to do headshots, and then you're going to have to do all the other annoying challenges separately. So starting off with the challenges in multiplayer, as you guys know, it's the eliminations which gets you the shards, ambush, frozen lake, debris, and a prosper camo. These are super simple to get. Don't really need any explanation behind getting these camos, apart from the fact maybe don't go in game modes like VIP or search and destroy. Go in big team based game modes like team deathmatch, armed assault, domination, kill confirmed. Anything like that, just don't go in VIP or search and destroy, and you should get loads of kills a game. I think by the end of this challenge of getting gold, I had around 780 kills. So this is sort of just a passive challenge you're going to get done no matter what. Then obviously the next challenge is getting headshots, which acquires you the gravel, graze, frost, thrash, and a bengal camo. 75 headshots in total to get all those done. Once again, super simple to get. If you're struggling to get headshots, I'd recommend a big game mode like Armored Assault, where you could go on Armada, sneak behind them on a jet ski, and just headshot some of the snipers while they're stood still, because there seems to be at least five of them a game. So you could just go around the back, get the headshots that way if you're really struggling, but this isn't really a challenge. You need to focus on actually trying to get done, since it happens passively once again. And for the final passive challenge, which is getting five kills or a bloodthirsty to get the platoon, ash, checkpoint, go, I don't know how to say that name, and a ransom camo. Do this 20 times and you'll get the ransom camo and the rest of the camos as well. This is the last passive challenge since you will get this done over time. But you literally get these challenges done by doing nothing really, apart from just playing the game. The first three challenges are super simple. Don't really take any thought. If you're struggling to get five kills without dying, maybe go on something like a hardcore game mode and go full suppressor, like so you don't show up on the UAV of Ghost and everything and sort of just hide in a corner. And I know hardcore doesn't initially have a UAV. However, if they use UAV, you're obviously going to show up on the map. Although maybe don't stay too still, because if they do use UAV and you do stick, sit completely still, you will show up. Finally, moving on to a challenge that actually takes a thought process, which is the long shot challenge, which requires you the blockade, warsaw, transform, fraction, and a bloodline camo. You need to get 50 long shots in total. The tip for this is literally go on something like armed assault if you really want to, to get long shots that way. However, the probably the best tip, if you don't mind the game mode, is hardcore. Hardcore is going to be the useful game mode basically for any of the camo challenges on this game since it gets the kills so much faster. Especially when it comes to long shot and with an MP5, you don't really do a lot of damage in core from that far away anymore, especially since it got nerfed a tiny bit. So literally just hop into a hardcore game mode of team deathmatch, kill confirmed or domination. Just stay as far back as possible, get some long shots. Also a little tip is a long shot is around 38 meters or more in this game. So if you use the ping feature, you can ping a distance, see how far away you need to be and set up like that and get the long shot super easily. And moving on to another passive challenge, which is getting five enemy kills whilst detected, stunned or blinded by your score streaks, equipment or field upgrades in multiplayer. This will get you the Frith, Old Growth, Nectar, Lumber and Cherry Blossom camo. You need to do this 75 times to get all five of the camos in that section. 
This probably is one you need to think about a bit more because you need to think about what you're using in game. You could potentially be stunning or blinding the enemies, although I just re recommend using a UAV. UAV will get it done nice and easily since you should get enough UAVs whilst using the MP5 over the pure time of trying to get gold where you'll get these kills done passively once again whilst thinking about making sure you spam the UAV at the right time. If you're struggling to get this challenge done then I recommend hopping in hardcore with a full suppressor loadout once again. Going behind the enemies and as soon as you're behind them all whack the UAV on and then you can take out multiple quite easily since obviously hardcore basically takes a bullet to kill each enemy. And now is the bane of my existence which is the point blank kills. This is the main challenge why I recommend you level up the gun in Zombies Before. If you can get this challenge ready to go on multiplayer before you start using the gun, you might get a few of these out of the way since this is the most horrible challenge to focus on and the last challenge I had to focus on. But this gets you the Teleport, Cosmonaut, Decipher, Integer and Policia Camo. You need to do this 75 times, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's quite a lot. The main way I recommend on getting this challenge done is going on a map like... Armada on Armed Assault, going behind them on a jet ski like I'm doing this video right here, or you can use the main military boat since then you can't get sniped. Little bit scummy since you're technically taking team's equipment away to get your challenge done and you're ditching the boat anyway, but you can go behind and just literally jam your gun into the sniper's back that are just there sniping at the back of the map and spray them down with your suppressed MP5 and just try and take out as many of them as possible each run. The only thing with that method is after you do it about two or three times, the snipers start to get annoyed and start scoping you down, which is why I use the military boat to try and get around, since they can't really snipe you that much if you're in the military boat. Another thing you could potentially do to get this challenge down, which I got about 10, 15 kills doing, is literally just go prone at the top of a ladder. This works great on that map where there's like loads of grass in the center. I'm not sure about the name, but you know what I'm on about. You go in the center of the map, it's just pure bushes. There's a little tower you can literally lie prone in up there. Also on a Marder, there's a few ladders you can lie at the top of. And also on the snowy map in the center, I think it's at D flag. You can sort of just sit there on the ladder as well, as you can see in the footage I'm doing right now. That's probably the scummier way to do it, but trust me, after you've been trying to get point blank kills for a while, you'll actually resort to stuff like that since your gun actually needs to be right in the enemy's chest, basically. I don't know if it's glitched, but it seems a little bit too close. Maybe it's not, but like your gun literally has to be in them to be able to get a kill added on to the point blank kill tally with the gun. And obviously moving on to the final challenge, which is kill two or more enemies rapidly, which gets you the groovy, seducer, blush, don't know how to say that one, and bliss camo. You need to do this 25 times in multiplayer. Once again, hardcore is just the pure gem that you can continue going to, because time to kill in hardcore, super quick because obviously in this game time to kill in a core is a little bit slower than older games like modern warfare but obviously if you hop into hardcore it's always going to be super quick just put five bullets in each enemy as they're stood next to each other two kills quite easily especially if there's multiple people capping a flag on domination that's quite easy to get double kills as well this challenge is sort of passive also so this is why i recommend leveling up the gun in zombies before you actually try and get a gun gold because then, as you saw, through all the challenges we looked through, only one of them really needs a thought process. And that's probably the point blank one. You could do the long shot one quite easily if you're playing hardcore as well. Because there is quite a few times where you don't even have a scope on your gun and you get some long shots. But a point blank one is the only one you really need to think about. And the only one I recommend leveling your gun up to so you get some accidentally as you're playing multiplayer. Like literally starting zombies, level your gun up to, I think it is level 35 ish i'm not actually sure okay you need to get your gun to level 40 as you can see with this other smg i've not started using just yet to be able to start doing the point blank kills i highly recommend on getting the gun to that level before you even start trying to get gold for the gun especially if you don't want to use the gun just normally like personally this gun i'm not going to use normally so i'm going to get this to level 40 in zombies before i even start just so i can maybe get like 15 to 30 kills point blank accidentally whilst doing the other challenges because this one is actually such a pain to do but obviously once you've done all those challenges you'll get the beautiful gold mp5 working towards your diamond camos in call of duty cold war and eventually obviously the nice cheeky dm ultra although the zombies one looks better to be honest with you the dark matter 
But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if it did help you out, be sure to drop a like and a sub down below. It helps the channel out so much. Also, if you have any tips of your own that you want to share around, be sure to comment those down below as well because they might help other viewers in the process of getting gold, diamond or dark matter guns in Call of Duty Cold War. But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're for future ones and peace out.